My first memory is kindergarten class, getting in trouble the first day of school because I was trying to draw the teacher, so I was attracting too much attention to myself. My biggest influence in art is Frida Kahlo. I remember reading her autobiography. I was just amazed how much she went through and also how honest she was with her artwork. When I was in high school, Keith Haring was huge for me. The way that art speaks to me, it gives me a purpose. There isn't that many Dominican-American artists out there. I say that art saved my life, I guess. It's the thing that got me out of the streets. And with my artwork, what I incorporate is my New Yorker, Dominican-American experience. Some of the struggles I face is getting my artwork out there. I live in Washington Heights. There's not really a big art scene up here. The way I find myself overcoming these obstacles is talking to people. What keeps me motivated is seeing the people's reaction to my work. People relate to it. I think the Bombay Sapphire Artist Series is a great platform for artists because it opens you up to an international audience. Art fairs like Scope in Art Basel or Freeze is another opportunity to expose yourself to the art world and the art audience. My advice to up and coming artists is to find your voice and just stick to it. Yeah.